guys, it's Bev Laza with the Culinary Trend Show and today we are celebrating Super Bowl. So what I'm going to make for you guys today, my favorite dish of all time and everybody's favorite dish during Super Bowl, it's the chili. But mine's way different from everybody else's because it's kind of drunk. I call it my drunken chili. So get ready, we are going to make some awesome chili to serve to your guests for Super Bowl. First you're going to need two pounds of ground beef, jalapenos, onions, garlic, you need three beans, Peruvian kidney and black beans, diced tomatoes, chili mix, some ball, beer, cilantro, salt and pepper. Good stock pot for this. You're gonna have to have it on high heat. I got two tablespoons of cooking oil in here. You want that to heat up. And the way to heat it up, make sure the heat is high. You're gonna see the oil start separating. When the oil starts separating, you know the heat is ready to go and you're ready to cook. See how hot that is? Make sure it's on high, high, high blast. You want to make that meat cook till it's brown, brown, brown. I just added the jalapenos, garlic, and onions. We're going to cook that for a bit. We're going to saute it until it cooks for about a about half a minute, 30 seconds. It shouldn't take long. Now I'm going to add the cilantro. Cilantro gives it a lot of flavor. And remember, all your food should have lots of flavor. It doesn't have to be complicated. You want a lot of flavors to build, and it's going to taste delicious. Now I'm going to add some salt. Doing the high salt, pepper. I'm gonna saute that just a little more. Ah, smells good. Smells good. This is for your Super Bowl, guys. All right, now I'm gonna add a couple, well, one tablespoon of some ball. Oh man, I wish you guys could smell this. Smelling really good in here. Now I'm gonna add the chili mix. The reason why I add the chili mix first, because you want to cook it out just a bit so it's not raw. Now you're going to cook that down just for another minute so the spices aren't that raw still. And the beer, the alcohol of the beer is evaporating. You want that to evaporate to produce more flavor also. Oh, it smells really good in here, guys. All right, now that's reducing. We're going to add the diced tomatoes. Stir this baby up, let it cook down just, just a little, about 5-10 minutes. Alright, now we're going to add the beans. Stir it up. Now we're going to taste, make sure. a little salt, a little pepper, I think it needs a little more some ball in there, 
stir it up. We're gonna let it cook for another 10 minutes. All right, this is a sour cream, lily sour cream from the Rockview Farms family. And I'm gonna be using this later on to garnish our chili. But one thing about this brand, it's, it's amazing. It's all organic, it's all natural, there's no preservatives, and uh, there's no thickenings or gums or anything else that you would see in any other sour cream. It's all natural, it's better for you, and you know, a little goes a long way. So if you're gonna have fun at Super Bowl, add a little sour cream to it. All right, the only way to have fun for Super Bowl is to make it fun. So what I'm doing is kind of like my play on Frito Pie. When I was a kid, this is what I would get from the uh, ice cream truck. You would get a bag of Fritos for me and put some chili in there. I don't know what kind of chili it was, but it was good. So we're gonna add on the Fritos to the bottom of the bowl. And then we're gonna bring the bowl here to the pot. Look at this chili, it's beautiful. Look at all the colors. Look how easy that was. It didn't take long. It takes about 15, 20 minutes to cook. Now we're gonna add it to the chili. Look at that. There, now we're gonna finish adding stuff to it to make it tastier. Now we're gonna add a little, who can't go without chili cheese? I got some Mexican cheese here, the cotija. I'm gonna add that. Little green onions for color. A little dollop of sour cream. Top. Add a little of my favorite condiment, the sriracha. Off with a little lemon. There you go.